Hi friends, this is Raj Shekhar, a great faculty for electrical machines. Now we are going to discuss about features of transformer. Features of transformer, right? So generally, transformer can be used as Transformer can be used as step up transformer and step down transformer, step down transformer, and also isolation transformer, and also isolation transformer. Sir, what is step up transformer? What is step down transformer? What is isolation transformer? Generally, in our transformer, we have a primary winding and secondary winding. The primary winding EMF is E1, secondary winding EMF is E2, primary winding current and secondary winding current, primary winding power and secondary winding power, primary winding frequency and secondary winding frequency, Primary winding impedance and secondary winding impedance are like this. For example, in any transformer, if the secondary winding voltage is greater than primary winding voltage, in secondary winding, the voltage is greater than primary winding, then that transformer is simply called as step up transformer actually i said you transformer is a constant power device constant power device nothing but e1 i1 is equals to e2 i2 i said you this one e1 i1 is equals to e2 i2 for example here, if E2 increases, to get the power constant, to get the power constant, what about the current? Here, the power is constant, but here E2 increases, but here E2 increases, so the I2 value should be decreased. Nothing but, when the E2 is greater than E1, then automatically the I2 is less than I1 because the transformer is a constant power device. Transformer is a constant power device. That's why here in step up, step up transformer, nothing but the E2 is greater than E1 and I2 is less than I1. This is called a step up transformer. Sir, here E2 is the maximum, I2 is the minimum. Voltage component maximum, current component minimum. What about impedance? What about impedance? Generally, impedance is equals to E by I. Here, EMF value increases. Nothing but impedance also increases. But the current value decreases. Of course, when the current decreases, again the impedance increases. So, in step-up transformer, Z2 is greater than Z1. In step-up transformer, Z2 is greater than Z1. So, here the very important point, sir. Step-up transformer, E1 is less than E2. I1 is greater than I2 and Z1 is less than Z2 and also the number of turns are taken as N1 and N2 for example N1 and N2 for example in which the voltage is more that side number of turns also more in which impedance is more, that side number of turns also more. If number of turns more, impedance is more. If number of turns more, EMF also more. So, what is step up transformer?
step up transformer nothing but e2 is greater than e1 i2 is less than i1 i2 is less than i1 and z2 is greater than z1 n2 is greater than n1 this is what the step up transformer based on this can you tell me what is step down transformer can you tell me what is step down transformer yeah tell me the answer first here e1 and e2 e1 and e2 but here step down nothing but e2 is less than e1 if e2 is less than e1 then automatically i2 is greater than i1 whatever whatever the power is constant in our transformer the power is constant in our transformer and then after impedance here is the z1 and here is the z2 where the voltage is less the impedance also less step down right step down where the current is more if the current is more nothing but when the impedance is less then the current is more yeah and next one number of turns number of turns step down that's why the number of turns in the secondary is uh, less than number of turns in the primary this is simply what is step down transformer but when comes to isolation transformer in isolation transformer e1 and e2 both are same i1 and i2 both are same p1 and p2 both are same z1 and z2 both are same n1 and n2 both are same that is called isolation just this is used for isolation of two windings there is no voltage and current levels all the levels are constant just for isolation purpose we are using this isolation transformer this isolation transformer is also called as this isolation transformer is also called as impedance matching device impedance matching device or impedance matching transformer impedance matching transformer is called isolation transformer this is simply about the step up step down and isolation transformer one of the features of transformer by knowing all this when we went to a competitive exam they will ask you a question for example the transformer name plate details given as the transformer name plate details given as 10 kva upon 15 kva 10 kva upon 15 kva now tell me this is a option a step up transformer option a step up transformer option b step down transformer option c isolation transformer isolation transformer option d we can't say we can't say what is this now tell me what is the correct answer now tell me the given the given the transformer name plate details given as 10 kva upon 15 kva then this is a this transformer is a which type step up or step down or isolation or we can't say tell me sir tell me the answer first some people saying it is a step up sir some people saying it may be a step down and some more people will say that it may be isolation but which is correct generally if the transformer is step up or step down or isolation how we can decide it is step up or step down or isolation we can decide by these four factors by these four factors one is based on voltage induced in the winding 
and second one based on current and third one based on impedance and next one based on number of tons but we can't say based on power rating based on power rating we can't decide is it is a step up or step down okay to decide is it is a lv or hv is it is a step up or step down we should require this four any one of this four but this kva rating they given so we can't say is this is a step up or step down now the question and answer is completed but you have a doubt now sir is this is a step up or step down yeah of course it may be step up or step down or isolation any any one but again you have a one small doubt yes or no sir you said that in our transformer power is constant whatever the transformer step up or step down or isolation i said you the power is constant but i given you in this question 10 kva upon 15 kva what is this nonsense tell me sir what is the meaning of this one is this is the primary power and this is the secondary power if you say like this, this is a primary power, sir, this is a secondary power, sir, then they will give you Nobel Prize. Okay, don't say like that. Because we said you already, already I said you, P1 and P2 always should be same. Then, then, why you are doing like this? Here, the meaning of this one is, this is the, maximum rating of the transformer this is the maximum rating of the transformer of course this is also maximum rating this is the maximum rating of the transformer without external cooling without external cooling maximum rating of the transformer without external cooling what about this this is the maximum rating of the transformer by providing the external cooling. By providing the external cooling. If you provide the cooling externally, we can improve the rating. So, this is the meaning of this statement. Okay, so this is simply what is step up, what is step down, and what is isolation transfer. Now, in this video, Let's see some more features of our, our transformer. Some more features of our transformer. Let's see. Let's see. For example, this is my transformer. This is my transformer core. This is my transformer core. I have a winding. You know what is primary winding and what is secondary winding? We discussed earlier. We discussed earlier. For example, here we are giving the supply voltage, and here we are connecting the load. Of course, this is the current I1, which is the supply voltage V1, current I2, and which is the load voltage V2. The EMF induced in the primary and EMF induced in the secondary E1 and E2s. E1 and E2. Of course, this winding having N1 number of tons, this winding having N1 number of tons, this winding having N2 number of tons, and these two windings are magnetically coupled each other. These two windings are magnetically coupled each other. These two windings are magnetically coupled to each other. Now, here we are giving the electrical energy. Of course, here we are taking the electrical energy again. Now tell me, transformer is a energy converting device or energy transferring device? Tell me, transformer is a 
energy converting or energy transferring device. Yeah, everyone says that transformer is a energy transferring or power transferring device. Transformer is a the power transferring device because here we are giving the electrical power and taking the electrical power, both are same. There is no any conversion. That's why if there is no any conversion, just only transferring is there. So transformer is A. So transformer is A. Transformer is A. Power transferring device. Power transferring device. This is 100% correct answer. But once you see here, once you see here, of course here we are giving the electrical energy. Of course we are taking here the electrical energy. But see here, what is this? This is the flux. And flux density is there. And flux intensity is there. This is electrical, of course, this is electrical, but this is a magnetic energy. This is a magnetic energy. Did you given that magnetic energy? No, sir. I given just electrical energy. This electrical energy converted as a magnetic energy. Again, this magnetic energy converted as a electrical energy. If there is no conversion of electrical to magnetic and magnetical to electrical, there is no power transferring operation. If there is no conversion, there is no transferring. If you want a power transferring, it should convert this electrical into magnetic, this magnetical into electrical. So, so, transformer is A, transformer is A, energy or power, energy converting device also, energy converting device also. But if you want a clear definition, clear statement, here, the transformer is A, internally, internally energy converting device. Transformer is A, internally energy converting device, but uh, externally energy transferring device or power transferring device. Transformer is A, internally energy converting and externally energy transferring device is our transformer. This is our transformer. This is important. And also, and also, our transformer having four terminals. See here, our transformer having four terminals. And, and our transformer having two ports. Two ports. Hence, transformer is A, Transformer is a two port, two port, four terminal device, two port, four terminal device, two port, four terminal circuit or device, two port, four terminal circuit. Even to analyze this two port, four terminal circuit, we need A, B, C, D parameters. We need A, B, C, D parameters as usually like a power transfer, transmission lines. Like that, our transformer is a two port, a four terminal circuit. Two port, a four terminal circuit is our transformer. Right? Okay, this is uh, about simply what is transformer and its features. Thank you.